Are you tired of putting so much money into this game and getting absolutely nothing you wanted? Head on over to MrMuckCoin.com and use code GS for 15% off all your purchases, which include player training coins and more. Link is in the description. What's going on, guys? GS here. Welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So today, we got ourselves another online head-to-head -head game. Actually, this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but I edited the entire video, chopped it up, and for anyone wondering about uh, live commentaries, we're going to bring you guys some of those tomorrow. Um, I, you know, chopped it up, and then I was watching uh, Club Series games. There was a bunch of games on yesterday, and I was watching all of those, and then I was seeing the comments of people saying that the videos are buffering, they're unwatchable, so I took a look to see if my software had an update, and it did, and I updated it, and I never saved the video, and... I had to redo it, so that's why this is coming out uh, today. So, hopefully, you don't hear an echo. Hold on, I forgot to mute my mic, <laughs> the gameplay while I'm uh, doing the audible, the audio. So, um, first game right here, we match up against someone in their Super Bowl. So, you see from the title that this is something that you just don't see often. You really, truly don't, especially in Madden 20 when abilities reign supreme, where the player it doesn't really matter what the player is. Uh, abilities it's all about abilities again a, a player with zero tackle and tackle supreme is way better than a guy with 99 tackle and no abilities like it's all about abilities so um with that being said they made the the uh speedster qb way more significantly better with the ability to throw every single dot on the run with the ability to be superhuman speed behind the line of scrimmage um it, it, it just made it a, a lot better, uh, again, until um, Protected comes out. And that's the only shot Pocket QBs have. The only chance of them being useful is Protected being somewhat good. Other than that, throw the whole archetype system away if Protected is not good. And um, speaking of not good, that was a not-so-good read right there as Dion Sanders... Takes it 4-6, prime time all the way with the pick 6. He was definitely dominating that drive, making quick reads, really quick, short, dink and dunks, and, you know, doing a good job of finding the open spaces within the zones. But then he ends up throwing a pick, making a bad read towards Dion, and we'll gladly go ahead and take that. And then we kick to the side, as we always do. For whatever reason, Super Bowls usually have super mega wind. And there's like 7 mile an hour to like the side, kick it to the side, and his guy ends up dropping it, and, and he ends up recovering it. Uh, stuck in like the four yard line so um right there he throws really quickly underneath but we made a adjustment out of our cover four we end up putting instead of um having the outside quarters we act well the the quarters from the um the guys on the inside i put them on hard flats so right here this is something you don't see often not one but wait till the screen flips wait for it wait for it but two pocket quarterbacks when was the last time you seen flat out no mobility in a game of madden i'll wait i'll wait go ahead go ahead when was the last time you seen a video where there was just two pocket qbs i matched up against the peyton manning and i was thrilled i was like okay this doesn't happen often you know we're facing the sheriff ourselves and you know um that obviously changes a lot of things for me defensively you know i don't have to worry about speed there's no spy i have to involve i don't have to worry about anything like that and right there don't test the user he is so disrespectful as we end up getting the user pick six with Tillman great way to go on ahead and start the game so um, again with his guy being uh, really not mobile at all uh, a lot less I have to worry about and all we really have to worry about is you know his different route combinations that he can make at a whim with hot route master which can be very 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 good the only issue is that when you run into someone with D-line abilities, they just come in so fast. It is very difficult passing the ball. A lot of people think that if you just run the ball, as he goes for it on 4th and 10, and he throws to the right side, but we get a nice little swat right there to give us a great field position. A lot of people think that uh, if you don't pass, that you're just not good at the game. That I mean, I feel like that's just untrue. Right? Running is definitely OP with the abilities. It is. But passing is so beyond difficult when you have pass rushing active on your D-line and they're just sending the hounds, it you get almost no time. 
they come in almost instantly. Whenever I, I come out of the huddle and I see those two X's on the D-line, it's like, okay, if I'm forced to pass, it's going to be rough because it is so, so tough to have any time. And uh, we went for it on fourth down. Not the smartest decision. I was feeling myself. I can't lie. You know, he's passing the ball a lot, not really running. So we felt confident that, you know, if we don't get it, that he's going to be in the bag. And, you know, so far, outside of that beautiful post over the middle, so far, you know, we're uh, we're right. We're, we're holding ourselves right to that. So um, right here, he has plenty of time in the pocket. I have two active D-line. I mean, I don't get any pressure. But for the most part, we all know what happens when we are, are face two active guys on the D-line. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting ran down. Our, we're just getting ran down upon by the D-linemen as we get a phone call. We're going to go ahead and uh, decline that. So really quick throw right there, you know, trying to trying to get the sheriff going, trying to get my man Peyton Manning going four for four, and then we hit him with a nice little outside. Oh, wait for it, just wait for it. We look slow, pick it back up outside, and then we swerve all the way to the end zone. One thing with one thing, eat some dates, son. As we end up going up fourteen to zero, and then he makes an adjustment that goes on ahead and he sticks with it and it gives me some issue now one thing that will always give me issues is people that are look at that i hiked it and aaron donald just came almost immediately almost look at, again again he's just in his face immediately it is so difficult passing the ball but um after this draw or maybe during this drive i'm not sure but he eventually oh that that right there was a good pass by him um he starts passing the ball out of an under center running set. Now that right there is difficult because I'm forced to have run defense out on the field. Now you see he's under center. He comes in a completely different offense and it's giving me some issues because I don't really want to run. I mean, I guess you can run nickel normal, but you got to be worried about this. You got to worry about the run. So I don't want to put heavy pass coverage out there because then he's going to run. And I don't want to put heavy run coverage out there because he's going to pass. Like the few people that really give me trouble are the guys that will pass out of running formation. They pass out of eye form. They have like a scheme like this where, and I kind of, I seen the post going, but I got stuck on my own guy. So good, great drive by him. And then he figured out, okay, this is what I need to stay in. He's stopping everything else. Then he went to that and then he had a great drive. And then he's like, okay, this is what I need to stay in. I'm like, dang it. He's probably going to stay in that. There's no need to come out after that successful drive he just had. So uh, we might be in trouble. We just got to hope that our pass defense out of whatever defense I come out in is, you know, well enough to stop the passes out of there. Because I know if I come out in 3-4, I'm going to be, you know, pretty good against stopping the run. I feel very confident in stopping the run if I feel like I know it's coming. It's just when they pass, it's just a completely different monster. Because I got linebackers out there trying to guard a, a freaking slot apprentice, route technician, uh, Tory Ho, and that's just a no-no, right? So on fourth and fourteen, I have B wide open on the comeback route. No need for me to lowball that. No need. I'm just so used to lowballing it. I guess because of the length of the pass and how far it was, that it just gave me a very bad throw. Like absolutely, positively, no need for me to lowball that, and we get a, a terrible throw. So, but that's on me though. I, I gotta know better to not. Um, to not uh, lowball that when he's just so wide open over the middle. So he ends up getting three out of it, right? And now it's like, okay, we got to put some pressure on and put some points on the board. Even if it's a field goal, go up a full touchdown because I'm not sure how confident I feel on stopping his under center passes when he comes out in you know, a running formation and starts passing the ball. And I don't know if you guys have issues with it, but I, I still don't. I'm, I'm going to have to find like a nice hybrid defense, maybe a nickel that can do a good job of stopping the run because I feel confident in stopping the pass out of nickel, just not the run. And I feel confident stopping the run out of 3-4, just not the pass. So I'm kind of like in between when I see someone come out in I-form H flex wing tight and they end up just passing out of it and I'm in 3-4 and I'm like, okay, well, then I go to something else and then you start running the ball and ah, it's it's very, very, very frustrating to me. But nonetheless, 14-10. to 10, And again, something you don't see often with the two slow QBs and not the best read by me. I'll be honest. Thankfully, he was holding Y for quite some time. That right there was an awful, awful read by me. So we go back to the play and B was wide open. I, I had the space with it, but then I get sacked. So it's like, all right, it's third and forever. And we, we get bailed out. It is what it is. We got lucky. We tossed it up, held aggressive, and we got an animation. 
we, we got lucky. It, it is what it is. I, I wish it was something different, but it wasn't. I'll take it, though. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to pause the game and say, hey, would you like me to punt the ball? Because you deserve it. No, they gave me the gift. I'm going ahead and receive it. Thank you kindly. So right over there to the sideline is Gronk. And again, hopefully... We fixed the buffering issue. If you guys want to leave in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter um, if there is any buffer issues or not. Hopefully there is not. Um, I think maybe me rendering, trying to get the render times faster may have been messing up the video. So I'm rendering in 1080p, 60 frames per second. I have been doing 720p and 30 frames a second. And maybe that is messed. I don't know. I'm just trying it out and hopefully... Um, it, it's a difference and that doesn't happen anymore. That way you guys don't have any videos ruined for you guys. So, um, we're up 17 to 10 and it's like, okay, we got to make an adjustment. My adjustment is going to be, I'm going to come out in three, four. And if he's going to pass, I'm sending eight or, or seven. Like I'm going to send the house after this play right here. After this play, it's like, all right, I'm going to send everyone. So good play by him. And again, it's like, all right, I'm going to come out in three, four. And I'm just going to, you know, send everyone. So he runs the ball. And again, I feel confident stopping the run, which we did very well right there. Second down, he runs the ball again. We stuffed that. Third down, three, four, same look. Sent the crib, sent everyone. Give him no time to make a decision. Fourth down. We end up just coming out in heavy pass coverage, and that's what happens when you try to pass against two active D linemen. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, man. On a rarity of a video, two Peyton Mannings in one gameplay. Here's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on and be signing out. I appreciate the support, as always. Until next time, peace. And the Dante Hall video is a little later. Be on the lookout for that.